A report from the U.S. Labor Department shows September marked the third straight month of slower hiring and increased unemployment. KSBY News reporter Sydney Brandt spoke with local businesses to see how they're managing to get by. Many people in San Luis Obispo County have been affected by the economic challenges in the past few months, whether it's losing their job or changing how they do business. I spoke to those on both ends of the spectrum, from worker layoffs to businesses like this one here behind me that have actually expanded in size. We went from like 11, 12 staff to like four people. San Luis Obispo resident Sarah Frederick laid off from Roku Ramen back in March. It was undetermined how long it was going to be. Filing for unemployment and receiving stimulus checks helping her make ends meet. Employment agencies like United Staffing Associates say positions in food service and hospitality have been a challenge to fill. Those would be positions that are offering $13 an hour. It's um, it has been really, really tough. Parts of the local economy struggling. A lot of people are really looking for stability right now. Hiring nationwide isn't much better, entering the third straight month of slower hiring. I'm still only part time because of coronavirus, actually. Still part time, so I had to get another job. And in a time of uncertainty for many employed and unemployed. Things change day to day, week to week, so I just like the best thing we can do is hope. It's hope that can lead to success during an economic hardship. You know, just keep thinking out of the box. And a Tascadero boutique brainstorming new ways of business. If you buy one thing or three things, I can cram it into this little envelope. To stay in business like virtual shopping. And we were just thinking like, what do we need to do to make it accessible to people to see our merchandise? So we started doing our online as well as trying out new ways for customers to shop safely, like appointment only shopping, being able to just pivot just quickly and and listening. That's really been the key thing. Patterson from United Staffing says that she admires small businesses being open minded to changing and rolling with the punches, whether it's dining outdoors or trying new things like appointment shopping as the economy works to rebuild. Reporting in Atascadero, Sydney Brandt, KSBY News. According to the U.S. Labor Department's report, the number of jobs lost during the COVID-19 pandemic is greater than that of the Great Recession in 2008.